When we hired Louis Van Hal 18 months ago, I never thought I'd be making this video, but I am officially Louis Van Hal out now. And the reason for that, you look at a lot of statistics, there's so many reasons for it, alright? But the first one, in our last five games, we haven't won, and they are winnable games. We had West Ham at home, they were without Paye and Lanzini. We had Bournemouth away, very winnable as well. It, it, should be, it really should be. I know they go for 90 minutes, but seriously, it should be a winnable game. Even Wolfsburg, if you want to get far in the Champions League, you're going to have to beat semi-great teams like Wolfsburg. And we didn't. We haven't won in five games, and that is something we haven't done since 1998. Even Moyes didn't do that. The longest winless streak he went on was three. All right. Also, Moyes has a better win ratio than Louis van Gaal at the minute. I think it's like 58 point. 84 or something, and Louis van Gaal has 52.24, something like that. It's very close, but it shows how close we are to the Moyes era. The only difference being that Louis van Gaal has far less losses and a lot more draws. But they have, uh, as I said, Louis van Gaal has a lower win ratio, which is just ridiculous, alright? He's playing basically the same, his philosophy that he keeps going on about seems to be the same as Moyes's. Don't lose, keep it, uh, keep it tight at the back. And just primarily, don't lose. Not go for it. We are Manchester United. Attack. That is the idea. Look look at our bloody um, Adidas uh, advert that we had at the start of the season. One of the things is attack, attack, attack. That's one of the line. Not defend, defend, defend. And it, it's, just, it's just everything, alright? There's so many problems within this team, alright? I know he wanted a small team because he likes promoting youth, which is fine. But everyone could see we needed a centre-half. We needed a striker. Especially when you're selling two perfectly adequate strikers. Yes, they weren't doing amazing last season. But in a correct system, they can work. And they've proved this uh, in Van Persie and Hernandez. I know Van Persie was heading over the hill. But particularly Hernandez, yes, I'll agree. I did want him sold because in the last game he played for us, he missed a penalty. He missed a sitter. I just didn't see him working. But I was blinded by Lou Van Hal's tactics. I think it is the system. It is Louis Van Hal's tactics. So many strikers haven't worked in our system. Falcao, fair enough. He's not really doing much for Chelsea, is he? Van Persie might be heading over the hill. Hernandez, question marks. Wilson, I know he's only played like five or six games under Van Hal, but still, he struggles. Rooney's been struggling. And now even Martial is struggling. I know he scored six. He's had some brilliant dribbling runs, etc. But... He is struggling to find, you know, space to get the goals and slot them in again. Like, he's even struggling in this system and that is a massive worry. And it's got to be down to the tactics. Other questionable decisions from Louis van Gaal. Raphael, what was the point in selling him? I know Valencia was being used as a makeshift right back and we bought Dormian. But the, Raphael was basically the passion and desire of Manchester United. That's what he had. He knew what it meant to play for this club. He loved it and he had pure passion. Also, he would run forward, which is why Louis van Gaal didn't like him. He was an attacking right back, and that is exactly what we want. All right, yes, maybe there was gaps in the defense, um, defensive area, but maybe competing with Domi and another right back would have made Raphael better and made him utilize his strengths a bit more instead of selling him for, what, eight, ten million, which was pointless because now we're below a first team right back when we had a perfectly adequate one that could have filled in now, but now we've got to de delve into the youth, which is fair enough, it could be brilliant, but it, it's not at the minute, and they're inexperienced, and that is not what we need in the run-up to Christmas. Other questionable decisions. We wanted fast-pacey wingers, and I know the burglary and all this shit, and you know maybe he fell out with some of the squad, but you've got to question why he did that. Why did we sell Angel Di Maria? I wanted him sold for the reason that he wanted to go to PSG and all this stuff. But let, let's be honest, if, if he'd enjoyed it at Manchester United, if he'd had a manager that let him loose, and yeah, I, I know a lot of it was down to Di Maria. I, I'm, this one's a 50-50. It was a lot of the time to do with Angel Di Maria. He would give the ball away. But maybe it was a confidence issue. Maybe it was just something he was fearful for, getting dropped by Louis van Gaal. He just couldn't perform to his best because he's doing really well for PSG at the minute. Seven goals, nine assists. And yeah, we want fast, pacey, creative wingers. That's what Louis van Gaal said himself. He's admitted it. 
and we sold one last summer, and we didn't bring one in. We brought Memphis, fair enough. He's he's young though, and yet I think he was the one that came out, out with this quote. There was an undisclosed player that said, "I am only half the player I can be under Louis Van Gaal." And to be honest, I think that's most of our fucking squad at the minute. But I think it was Memphis who said that. And yeah, it's just because I think they're all fearful that they're going to get dropped if they don't conform to his shitty philosophy, which seems to be find the easiest pass you can and bore the fans to fucking death. That seems to be the philosophy. Pass it one way, pass it the other way, pass it back, give it to De Gea, up, and rinse and repeat. That seems to be the philosophy. There's no creativity in attack. Creativity is outlawed at the minute, and that is another reason I want Lou Van Hal out, just because... We, we aren't creating anything. We've created the least chances in the Premier League, I think. Certainly in the top 10, we've created the le least chances. We're either 16th or bottom for this. There's loads of statistics. Most passes per shot. It's just, oh, man, it's absolutely pathetic. And I was saying two, three months ago, I was like, oh, well, you know, we're near the top. We're three points off the top, or we are top. What happens when we play good, when we do well under Louis van Gaal? I don't think that time's coming. I hope I'm wrong. I really do. I'm not one of these Berlin fans that wants to be proven right about Louis van Gaal, about how bad he is and everything. I want to be proved wrong. I want him to prove wrong, that I'm wrong to want him out. But I just don't believe it. Because, yeah, three months ago, I was saying to my mates, oh, we're doing this now when we're, like, bottom of uh, the table for uh, creating chances. What happens when we do create chances? I don't think that time's coming under Louis van Gaal. I really don't. I don't think he's going to find a way to utilise the attack. We needed more in the summer. People talk about the money spent. Personally, Bardi Maria, 60 million of that is in PSG. Uh, 6 million was failed with Falcao. Bar that, I think our signings have been relatively astute. The only one that hasn't really worked too much, even though he's kept a few clean sheets, but he's looked a bit, you know, hit and miss, is Romero, but he was free. A lot of our players either... Are, are doing okay now or have the potential to be brilliant in the future. Luke Shaw, Anthony Martial, um, Memphis Depay, and a Herrera. I think that he needs to be one of the fucking first names on the team sheet. He should have played double the fixtures what he has. I know he's injured at the minute, but in previous games, he's shown why he is. And under a new manager, I think he could flourish. He could be world class. He really could. Marcus Rojo, an adequate backup at the minute. Maybe we do need someone a bit better, but he's he's. Decent. He's a brilliant squad player, certainly. Daily Blind seems to start nearly every other game. So all the signings we've brought in have helped and are brilliant, but we haven't sold well. We've sold far too many players that have just been inadequately replaced because we want to promote youth, which is brilliant. But when you get an accumulation of 10 injuries and you've got to use six youth prospects in a game and sub on two, or what was it, four or five youth prospects sub on two, it, regardless, there's too many at once and it's just not working. And yet, Louis van Gaal and the hierarchy of United, I'm not letting other people off on this, like Ed Woodward, etc. There's a lot of people within the backroom staff that probably need to go as well. Jury's out on Ed Woodward. He can do good things commercially, but it seems to only be about commercial stuff, about bringing in revenue. Doesn't seem to care much about the fans as long as Manchester United are this global brand that he can sell. I think we've got 66 club sponsors and we've got 23 senior players. It, ju it just shows a lot about the club. It's all about finances at the minute, which would be brilliant if we were winning. I wouldn't give a fuck, alright, if they're filling their bank accounts and all this shit. As long as we're winning, which is what we have the finances to do and what the, the history of our club is about winning, I wouldn't be bothered. And yeah, maybe we're a bit spoiled as Manchester United fans, but we're, it it's it's just there, all right? The money's there, everything's there. It it has to be, we have to be a success. Literally, we have to, or else we'll turn into Liverpool 25 years ago, and they still haven't won the league. I don't think that's going to happen, but yeah, we're, we're getting off track here. This is about Louis van Gaal. Anyway, who would I replace him with? Personally, I would sack him now and get Carlo Angelotti. Carlo Angelotti's done it at so many other clubs. He's been unfairly sacked at Real Madrid and Chelsea, in my opinion. And yeah, he's fantastic. The other option, which is a little bit more risky, I would prefer this one if it was 100% going to happen, but th there's risk in this because of the Manchester City involvement with Pep Guardiola. I would love him as manager of Manchester United, but we would need 100% assurances that he would choose us at the end of the season 
where Van Hal would be sacked or would leave of his own accord and retire, then yeah, that would be the option I would go with. Or I would sack Lou Van Hal now, give it till Giggs till the end of the season to quote Andy Tate, and then let Pep Guardiola come in. But again, that one's risky. So if I had to pick right now, I'd probably go for Carlo Ancelotti. That's who I'd bring in, and I'd get rid of Van Hal ASAP because. People say, oh, when 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 a new manager comes in, it's going to create disharmony in the squad. Look at the squad. They, they look just nowhere near as good as what they are. They just look disjointed. They don't look happy at all. It, it just really seems as though we've got really shitty squad morale. And, yeah, it would be boosted with a big-name manager like Carlo Ancelotti coming in, in my opinion. And also, that would lose the fear. And hopefully, they'd lose the reins that are keeping them back from being this creative outlet, which we can be. We've got so much quality in this team. Not enough, granted. We need a bit more depth, but that's something for the transfer windows. At the minute, we've got quality players that are playing just boring football, and I think that's because of this man's philosophy. Am I right? Am I wrong? Let me know in the comments if you're Louis van Gaal in, Louis van Gaal out. As I say, I would love to be wrong. I really, really would. If we're going to stick with Louis van Gaal this season, then... I would love him to win fucking Europa League, FA Cup and Premier League. But do I think it's going to happen? Personally, no. But I would love to be proved wrong. But for the time being, I'm going to stick by my guns and I'm going to say Louis van Gaal out.